This is First Contact, Stories of the Call Center. You know, one of the things that we talk about is intraday management, right? Talk to us about that. You know, how is that important? What is it? And, you know, can it be optimized? Uh, without question, it's, it's something we focused on quite a while back now, and I think we've moved the needle at Community with what companies expect out of their intraday capabilities. And specifically what I'm talking about is in, in our solution, we have embedded communication channels. You know, there's the text, there's email, there's the mobile app, uh, you know, uh, we can send pop-up reminders. All those communications are very tightly embedded within the solution. So on the intraday side, as, as our world has just accelerated beyond most of our ability to, to translate, what's happening is customer behaviors are somewhat less predictable than they used to be. Uh, and so what happens is during the day of operation, I'm expecting to get 4,372 calls today. And it's nine o'clock in the morning and I'm getting, and we're way off track. I've been, I've been monitoring every 15 minute increment and I can see that the trend is we're gonna get like 6,000 calls today. We are gonna be understaffed. So we, what we need to do is we need to take our current schedule path. Where is everybody supposed to be right now? They're in meetings, they're in trainings. We don't have enough people scheduled right now. How do I, on the intraday, the day of, how do I add more resources? And so what our platform does is it facilitates very rapid realignment of resources. So I can actually assign my resources with the speed and precision of a college marching band. I know we're all going this way right now, but our customers are demanding that we go another way. And we need to be able to execute those strategies very, very quickly communicate them out to the agents, make those offers available to them to either go home early or pick up additional hours and inform their supervisors all in one seamless motion. And that's really what community has done so beautifully. It speaks to the philosophy behind why we call the product community to begin with. 